get ready to witness a little bit of stress in these next few episodes. Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. In the last episode, we finished off Dead Men Tell No Tales, and we basically, well, yeah, 61% in 2 hours and 16 minutes. Probably not my best, but whatever, so... Anyways, in this episode, we see Dimitri looking all cool in his little swimsuit. We're going to be starting the final chapter in the game, Honor Among Thieves. Let's go. All these memories, they just bring me back to the same place. Getting crushed to death in the fist of some genetics experiment gone wrong. Not the way I thought I'd go out. Shame, really. Now that we've got this big gang... Gang. More like a pack of misfits. Either way, we've become a team. We had some real potential there. Could have pulled off some big jobs. Ugh. We were so close. The door to the Cooper vault was opening. But that Dr. M... If there's any justice, he'll get his. I just wish I'd seen what was in there. A stockpile of my family's accomplishments. Would I have measured up? What would I contribute? Would my father have been proud of me or ashamed? Funny, but here I am at the end and suddenly all I can think about is what a coward I've been towards Carmelita. I never took the next step. Looking at Bentley and Penelope, it's clear what life is about. If Carmelita was here, I'd tell her straight out how I feel and quit playing around. Put our professional differences aside and see if we can make it work. But that'll never happen now. I can't take this crushing. Just let the pain stop. And guess what? We are not in a flashback anymore, but we're going to have a cutscene right when we get into this episode, so I'll be quiet again. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, this chapter is a little bit different than the other episodes we have done so far. In this episode, well, we kind of automatically start in a mission, which basically, let's just say, this whole episode is basically just one huge mission. Also, when that guy starts kicking out some of those guards, you want to back off, but it is actually pretty cool how we are starting this episode with Carmelita fighting this giant monster, which if you haven't guessed already, this is the monster we fought back in the first episode of this Let's Play. Because now we are finally... Oh. I was about to say, we are finally out of the flashback, and we are now in the current time again. Back on Kane Island, which, if you don't remember what happened on Kane Island, because, you know, it was a pretty long time ago, what we did was we tried stealing the cane, and we had these people that we had no idea who they were, but now we know them because we actually went through the flashback and got all the members we needed, which, you know, you never really realize that this whole mission episode thing is a flashback until you get right to the end, and also, I need that health now. I was originally thinking, you know, I don't need that health, but now I'm like, ugh, I'm gonna need that health. Also, another cool thing is, this is the exact music that plays during when you're fighting, uh, that guy with- while well, you're trying to fight that guy with Sly, this is the music that plays. And for some reason, I guess I'm not concentrating hard enough, because I'm trying to get these guys. And for some reason, I keep getting hit, because I guess my aiming is- Oh god, that actually glitched out for a second. But you know you're on a new part of this fight when that happens, but all we have to do is we have to actually get- 
Oh, not that. Well, we... Okay, actually, thank you, Carmelita. You actually... Oh, God. Okay, we gotta get up here, though. We have to get up here to actually get to the next part of this fight. And, of course, Dr. M is actually talking here, but what we want to do is we want to make sure we jump when he tries doing that. But, amazingly, when he does that, just make sure you jump out of the way. He might do, like, a side swipe or something, but personally, just keep jumping and you should be fine. Because you do not want to get hit by them and, well, I don't know. Okay, there's the side swipe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that side... What, what the heck? He, whoa, I didn't act, what, I didn't lose health from that, okay, that was weird, I like, I like, got out of the way, but I didn't lose health from that, but anyways, no matter, we are actually getting close to done with this fight, because only a few more hits, and we should be done, and I don't even know why I keep jumping, he doesn't even look like he's gonna hit me, but I guess I think one more shot, there we go. You harpy witch, why are the police invading my home? I'm here to see that justice is done. Justice? I'm the victim here, defending what's mine from thieves! Looked to me like you were attempting to murder that man. That man? Please, you know this is Sly Cooper. You're as transparent as you are narrow-minded. Cooper is a criminal. I'm here to bring him and all lawbreakers to justice. I'm no lawbreaker. This was all self-defense. First things first. Put Cooper down, and we'll talk terms. Sorry, Madam Cop, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Although, I can throw you a long, long way. Go and smash that woman, crush her bones to paste, and toss her in the sea where no one will ever find her. believe this idiot just brought it to me. <laughs> he looks just like his father, and he's just as dead. Sly! He's over here! He's still breathing? He's alive! Hang in there, pal! You're gonna be okay! We'll get you back to the ship and patch you up! What I was trying to say is this mission, basically, once we have a job complete, we automatically go to the next part. Like, as you see, automatically to the next cutscene. Sly's gonna make it, although he's suffered a major concussion. If he were up and about, I'm sure he'd want us to retrieve his family cake. Oh, crap, you think? Jump in, do the swim, and take it. Legit, hey, eh, my main man, bro? Won't be that simple. That's an electromagnetic buoy. Dr. M has set him up all around the island to snag approaching metal boats. We just lucked out that we came here in a wooden ship. She's right. Get too close and your diving gear will magnetize to it. Ha, da, da, ha. That's an excellent idea, Guru. You're the only member of the team who doesn't carry metal equipment. If you can convince some of the local sharks into joining you in an attack, it might be enough to break the buoy. Hold on, time. And now, this is sadly the last mission we actually play as the Guru. But what we have to do is we basically have to jump from shark to shark and kind Oh god, I forgot. I have to press triangle, then jump to the next shark. Oh crap, I accidentally didn't go to the right one. But let me see if I can actually get to this shark now, like that. And what you want to do is you want to get on them, and you know they are possessed if they actually show a little bit of a orange jump thing there, and I forgot. We have a little bit of security here that we do have to watch out for. And also, I need to make sure where I'm actually going. Okay, where am I going? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's actually go this way. I was wondering, like, where the heck I was supposed to go there, but I guess... Oh, God, I got hit by that. But I guess we just have to, uh, make it over to that little checkpoint area there. And also, don't worry about this health going away. This health will basically just regenerate once we get onto another shark. But hopefully, I will not die by the time we get there. So let's just jump on here and do this. That'll drive those sharks into an attack frenzy! Nice work! Now, we basically have to get ten of these guys, but we do have to keep one regular because we do actually need one. And, oh, the health didn't go away. Maybe because this guy isn't a different one, he's the same one. You know, that would have been perfectly fine if he actually didn't die or, or you know... Or if we got the other one, perhaps, but let's actually get on this guy and see if the health 
Yep, see what I mean? You go on a different guy and the health kind of regenerates. But now, since we have all the guys, we just have to go all the way back to this area here. And I believe we have new forms of security coming up. I am not so sure, though. Actually, do we? I don't know. I thought we had rockets that start shooting. I guess we don't have rockets that start shooting yet, but okay, we got that. And also, I should probably just talk through these cutscenes. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a few cutscenes. Also, now we kind of have to go to the next stage. What the heck was that? Did I- do I have to redo that? Okay, good. That was a checkpoint, but what the heck happened there? I got, like, bit by the shark, and it caused me to, like, go, like, into the water. That was actually really weird. I guess- oh god, this thing. Okay, that thing you want to jump at, like, right when it's about to explode. It's a little bit hard to time, but if you try hard enough, like, I believe right now, like that, you should be able to get through it. I mean, it doesn't make sense how that's supposed to work, but I guess it kind of works like that. But anyways, let's just get on this thing. Also, if I haven't noticed already, because you probably already saw, if you do accidentally get into the water and not land on these sharks, you will actually kind of die. And that is not a good thing, so I need to- Oh god, what the heck? What the heck was that? Why did you go into a new thing? I thought we don't do that until we actually get this out of the way. There we go, okay. And that thing, like, automatically started doing the little security stuff. And I didn't want to get hit by that. Luckily, I jumped as the guru, like, right at the time it needed to be. Ooh. I'm actually very surprised how good I am at doing that little thing there. And, ugh. I hate the ones where, like, multiple of those mines pop out at the same time. Because sometimes you can, like, never tell exactly what's gonna happen. Also, oh god, what the heck? Okay, I made it. Okay. That was a little freaky, but I guess my jumping skills, like, he didn't jump off. Maybe I have to ram him onto the side. But do we need any more? Okay, we do need more. I believe we need, like, one more and we should be fine. Okay, where's the shark I need to go on? Uh, there you are, okay. I could not find that stupid shark we needed to go on, but now we have to go all the way around this little area here, and I believe now- Oh, yep, that's what I thought. Now we're gonna have the little rockets, and oh crap, ooh, I actually dodged that, jeez. And we went the wrong way. I guess we did- well, no, 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 okay, I guess we did have to actually go around this way. I thought we could get around there, but no, we have to go up- Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. I was not expecting those rockets to actually shoot at me, so maybe I have to expect it nowadays in order to get that, okay. You know, I- oh, whatever, okay, let's stop talking about the rockets and start talking about a little bit of a different topic that I was going to actually talk about. Well, yesterday my internet was actually upgraded, luckily my dad got a new internet thing, I believe he got it from like complaining to the Time Warner Cable guy, and I got hit by that, but whatever. So let's go on this to actually replenish our energy, but what I was trying to say is, uh, I got better- well, I mean, I finally actually have full cable in my room, and also I have better internet, because now my desktop's at like a gigabyte per second internet speed, I think, which makes uploading a lot faster now, and I am really happy for that, and I'm trying to ignore the fact that that shark kind of just jumped in the air and did a little jig and got down tonight, so let's just ignore that fact. And another thing I was trying to do now is, I backed up my mic just a little bit from my face, because I've noticed a lot a lot of the times in my recordings that my mic has been doing the popping even with the pop filter, I have no idea why it's doing that, but, you know, probably it's still not going to affect it. Maybe it's because my mic is finally starting to get worn out or something, but let's see if we can actually get this now. There we go. And that is the last one we need, because we have four of those sharks to go. It's okay, Guru. The cane's not lost. We've got a diver on the team, remember? I'll have Penelope prep Dimitri for the job. Don't talk like that. No one else could have got the cane off that magnet. You're a credit to the team. Just leave your shark friends behind. They freak me out those poor shark's teeth but anyways that is the last time we're playing as the guru but now Bentley's tending to slide he wanted me to prep you for the mission wait the turtle dude makes sounds on a scuba there you go baby Dimitri Anakra Woo! your plan is work to perfection my plan to get you alone in a swimsuit come clean my lovely and play your cards straight these are dangerous waters and I'm a big strong macho macho man Okay, first, get over yourself. Second, I mean it, get over yourself. And third, jump into that water and find Sly's cane. It's the key to the Cooper vault. You can't lose it. Salty language from such sweet lips. I'll die, baby. 
I die for the love. Okay, Dimitri. Now, basically, even though we are about 16 minutes in, I'm basically just going to keep going until I get to about 20 minutes. I'm detecting some of Dr. M's creatures swimming towards it. That text is extremely big for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it's big. Is that how it is in the regular game? I'm not so sure, but okay. Now we actually kind of have to dodge some of these things. Now, hopefully, I get these. Okay, I do. Now, go this way. What we just have to do is we have to press these square and circle buttons and stuff repeatedly. And okay, luckily, I do have these right. I did not know if they were inverted, if they were regular. And I'm actually doing really good. Okay, I almost got down there, but whew. Okay, now, right now, I'm probably going to be very cautious here because I never liked this part as a kid. I always hated it. And so that's why I'm trying to get through here as fast as, or as good as I can. Okay, there we go. Because luckily I haven't got hit yet. Oh my god, my heart is racing like crazy right now. Ooh, okay, this is where it gets a little crazy. Okay, oh god. Oh, I'm actually, I have still haven't gotten hit yet. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Oh crap, oh god. Oh no, okay. I got hit there, but oh, that is actually it with that. Oh god. I got through that first try. Now I am a little bit, uh kind of under, not under the weather, what am I talking about? I'm trying to say that I'm a little bit crazy now, and oh god, okay. Now we're kind of in a boss fight with Dr. M, and ugh, these controls are invert, or like the up and down are inverted, and that just sucks, okay. All we have to do is we have to kind of go back and forth and try to avoid these things while we try to shoot Dr. M with this horrible uh, aiming decision thing here, because, you know, we have, of course, for some odd reason, let me actually see if I can change this in the options, okay. Options, okay, overscan, uh, harpoon options, there we go, uh, okay, left, right, up, down, default, what's, what's this, up, down, reversed, left, right, re what is, does this actually do anything, or is it, I'm just thinking, okay, that is a lot better, there we go, now, ooh, no, 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 I gotta change that again, sorry, this is getting a little weird here, but I need to keep doing these harpoon options, and make all of these reversed, so I can actually get this correctly, so I think now, oh, what the heck, okay, for some odd reason, up and down are regular, but now it's the left and right are reversed, okay, whatever, I guess I can do that, I guess I just can't get both for some reason, I don't know why, but I guess it's just going to be a little pain like that, but we are still doing okay at this fight, but you know, we are not automatically done yet, and also we're kind of uh, trying to struggle to actually get a hit on this guy, because it's really not working that well, because ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something off screen between episodes, because I just cannot stand this crap. Jesus, can we just try to hit him? There we go. Okay, I actually think we're going to be going into a little bit of a park here. Yep, we are, because once we get here, what we have to do is we just kind of have to hit him like that. And that is basically it. And what time are we on? We are on about 18 minutes, so I believe we can do a little bit more, and we should be fine. Jeez, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't like this commentary, because I'm trying to do this, and it's not working really well. And also that... Okay, just kill me. Okay. We're going to be redoing this in the next episode of Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, when I'll... Can I pause quickly? Uh, okay. We're gonna be redoing this in the next episode of Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, and I'm gonna try to fix the controls, because, oh my god, am I- I just can't handle it. So, this has been Juddle Plays, saying see you later, and goodbye.